So welcome back friends on a chilly Monday morning on the homestead. So I've got, I guess we've got some, some bad news uh, and we've got some, or I have, it's not your bad news, and we've got some, uh, some good news. So uh, just to go back a little bit, so uh, was it last Wednesday, um, or maybe it was Tuesday, we did the video talking about, okay, so for, about getting our lives in order and, and, and things sorted out. And a lot of that for me um, is stopping the chaos uh, with disorder and disorganization and just almost too much stuff, too much stuff. And, and um, some guy said in the comments, and it really resonated with me, um, that um, you can become a slave to your home or a slave to your homestead or slave to your property. And I've given that a lot of thought. And Mrs. W and I have been talking about that. And we are going drastic and we are getting rid of everything. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're not uh, uh, selling it and, buy, and going and joining the Bogwan. I'm just talking about uh, paring stuff down so that our life is not so overly complicated. So back up a little bit. So Thursday was the first day of this, uh, of the reconstruction of when uh, Jack and I, we took the day and our goal was, uh, we're going to look around here, we're going to do finish up all these unfinished projects and and what w how we knew what to do uh, was uh, what we didn't want to do so part of that for me uh, was getting myself uh, fit in order and uh, what I was uh, resolving to do was I was going to run I was going to start running and I hate running I I'm not a runner I don't come from that background so what I figured and I probably should have did a little more research on it was I'll I'm going to start running three miles a day um, and I'll alternate I'll run and then and then I'll ride my bike for 10 miles you know just to kind of mix it up a little bit so I was really enjoying the running and <clears throat> I ran for two days in a row and the third day I was going to ride my uh, bike and then I got on the bike and you know, I didn't have quite the right pedals and you know, anyway, I'm like, well, I'll just run instead. So that was three days in a row. Well, I woke up, um, I woke up, I think it was Friday morning um, and I couldn't, I couldn't walk. Um, and so I was really in, in bad pain of something wrong with my foot. And I, um, and so that's, so I thought, well, what I can do is I can, I need to get my wildland stuff organized. And so I did that. Um, and put those videos up instead, hoping uh, that things were going to get better. Well, uh, it's not getting better, and I've done a little research, and I think what I've done is I think I've uh, broke, fractured my foot. Um, Mrs. W and I are going to go in today uh, for the orthopedic to see uh, an orthopedic surgeon and get an X-ray and find out what's going on. But I, I, I almost can't walk on it, and it's it's just not getting any better. I, I I've been taping it up. I actually I taped it up yesterday with a bunch of duct tape and. And Jack and I went on a dirt bike ride, and I had I had to cut it short. Even with those boots on, it was um, <clears throat> it start it was becoming a real problem. The really bad news uh, is that I was scheduled to do uh, the pack test today for wildland firefighting. That's the last hurdle that I need to cross to get my red card this year. If you don't know what a pack test is, the wildland firefighters have to complete complete this um, what they call a pack test. You have to be able to do three miles with. Um, I think it's 45 pounds or 50, a 50 pound pack in 45 minutes. It's not a difficult thing to do if you're in reasonably good shape. Could I do it? And I'm waiting that, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make that decision right now. Could I just tape my foot up really tight and just suck it up and go down there and do it? I'm not opposed to doing that. But the thing that I'm, I'm worried about is, is, is that going to put me out of commission for the whole summer? Um, am I going to exacerbate that? Am I going to am, am going to make that a lot worse? Mrs. W is of the op opinion that I will, um, but she's my wife and she worries about everything, you know. So I'm going to have to make that judgment call here in the next 15 minutes or so because I've got to be down there um, in an hour. Um, so I'm just not sure what to do with that. It um, if if what's wrong with my foot if it's uh, what I think it is. Um, that might mean uh, crutches for uh, for several weeks, and that's um, I, I just, that's we're going to seriously put a put a damper on uh, wildland firefighting this summer, as well as many many other things. On the good side uh, is um, it looks like we'll be uh, 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 reaching the one million subscriber mark, which is uh, amazing. I've told the story before that. Uh, you know, I grew, coming up on YouTube when I first started the channel that I really loved, and I'd have to say that the channel that that inspired me to start making videos was uh, Nut and Fancy's channel. 
really it was, there was nothing like that before where you could watch uh, uh, gear reviews and knife reviews and, and and I really enjoyed it and that's and that's really I mean I have to credit him for for me getting into it I even really copied his style and kind of did the same thing until I kind of found my own footing and in, in, in my own style of doing things but we are uh, today we should uh, Lord willing we should cross that one million mark and I um, I wanted to say thank you uh, it's hard to believe Mrs. W is beyond the moon. She was up all night watching the live count and she's buzzing around here and she's very excited and uh, <clears throat> she's insisting that we have a, a party. So um, she's working on that and that, that is to be announced but will probably be something in Portland, Oregon uh, coming up relatively soon. We're just looking for some sort of a venue that could uh, accommodate any those people that want to come uh, but I will be making an announcement on that so we will be Looks like we'll be having that um, that one million one million subscriber party. All right. So I only have, what I ask from you guys is uh, please keep me in your prayers, and we will. Um, um, I'll let you know uh, what the outcome is as soon as we find out. Um, maybe it's not as bad as I think it is, but uh, I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. I've I've never had any any. Um, I've just never had any injuries before like this before, and. Uh, um, it's hard to even believe that it's ha you know it's like no it's just going to go away it's just going to go away but I, I i think if i try to do that pack test with that weight and that that exertion in my current condition when i can't even hardly <coughs> walk is no good is going to come out of that so please keep me in keep keep our family in your prayers and um and uh well we'll see you guys on the next video